back here on a special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway and before it does we'll check out our first tops player spotlight. Jay Mack is coming off a year in which he led the American League in wins and I'm sure he'll tell you it's a lot more complex than simply pitching better than an opponent on most days. I can agree with that but you know what let's not underscore the value of a win right here man I know they're dependent upon the team around you it's still a decent way to show success especially in the American League having to bear down against DH's nightly. OK we're looking forward to this one lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. There is rain in the area but we've been given the go ahead to get this one started. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Hi again everybody it's finally here welcome to our special opening day edition of baseball on the show I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak the staff for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Hey just like any team pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. It's opening day. It's the show and it's coming up next. is Tim LaCastro. He'll lead things here off go. here in the bottom Northern half Yankees. of the first. The second baseman. Tim. Now the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement that in particular that pitcher's mound you know one of the things you have to really be careful not just for the position players but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Hey great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound relax a little bit and establish that good fastball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. That is second. The third and that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. When you find yourself in an 0 2 hole against one of the best hurlers in baseball, you're basically just hoping to make contact. He's so good at putting guys away, though. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches, not throw a single ball, and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding, but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. That is good. Here now is Adam Hazley as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Man that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two outs here. Two outs. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Ball. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Yeah, Pitcher is right setting here, huh? a tone pound in the zone. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and oh, right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. His offense gave him an early lead and he is on the attack. Punched out the first two guys and made it look easy and still getting ahead. Fouled away. Hey, this guy is dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Nothing across here this half. Second inning upcoming here in the Bronx. It's the Red Sox one and the Yankees nothing. Second inning coming up and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well Matt the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment we should get this one in uninterrupted. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman Brian O'Hearn. First pitch on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Wow I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Mack has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah Matt and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. And that'll bring up Don't Miguel Andujar. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play. Something the first four men have been unable to do. Hey, come on, guys. Fastball well outside. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low hey, ball down, umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. The next one, two pitch. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning classic slider down and away for the strikeout there not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already that's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing that when they're in protect mode and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton one and oh the count. Pitch on the way. Nope. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing 2 0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. Well, if first, I'm at dude. the plate, I'm leaning out over. 2 and 1 after the foul ball there. Into the windup and the pitch. Eight. Got to pitch to the hey, ballpark's yeah, dimensions two. right yeah. here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Replay two full. 
It's the Red Sox two and the Yankees nothing. Now it'll be Jordan Luplo as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Jordan Luplo. First pitch coming. Here it is. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And they just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven K's that were just in the middle innings of this one? If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Batting eight, not shortstop, number 71. One down, one down. To the plate now, Andrew Velasquez. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Hey, plays it first. Plays it first. No, that's and that misses one and one. The pitch. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That's back to back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. Batting nut, the catcher, Anthony. Stepping in now, Anthony Siegler. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here we go, guys. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. He's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail things here two to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Tim LoCastro. The second baseman, Tim. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Not sure, but it looks no like he may have been strike. blindfolded right for that here. swing. It's 0 and 2 now. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Here's the second the baseman, baseman, DJ LeMay here. As the first hey, pitch to him is in there hey, for a cold strike one. Oh, Both one. one for him here in this one. Ah. 
that's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. After two great pitches he has a lot of options right now he can bounce yeah, something or go in elevated in fastball. One and Ball two one. to D.J. LeMayhew. Well try to throw a high fastball right by him there didn't work but now we'll see if that sets up some different options wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here and he struck him out and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Now back to seven field. Adam. At the plate, Adam Hazley. And hey. he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch. It's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Got two, two down. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game and that'll end the inning. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They trail in this one 3 nothing. Set now for the bottom of the Here fifth. Here comes Yankees. the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Number 66. The pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Eight. In there, and it's 0 2 now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Okay. Here's no Miguel Andujar now. Miguel. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One down, one down. And it's fouled away. Hey, let's go right here. And he fouls this one off. Next 0 2. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Carlos Stanton now. The dedicated hitter. As he'll take a look at ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The 1-1 one, one. is strike two swinging. Count is one and the two. offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Red Sox on top, three to nothing. of the sixth inning now and standing in is the veteran outfielder Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Luplo is a very well regarded defensive outfielder. Used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage, but of course, these days. There are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field, and in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this, but man, does he come to work every day and play hard. Into the box, Andrew Velasquez. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Aye. Now a splitter's in there and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw Aye. him anything else? Case in point. This guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. He throws him on the fastball there. Andrew Velasquez goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Now in now, Anthony Ketcher. Siegler. Anthony. As he lines it Siegler. hard to the right side, but out of play. Struck out in his first at bat. Come on now. 0 and 1, here it comes. Strike two, swinging just okay. out in front of the slider. The discipline has just been yeah, completely man. absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff oh, that's one. not even in the strike zone. 1 and 2 to the Yankees catcher. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Still down, three, nothing. Now at the plate, Tim LaCastro. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, kind of shocked he got yeah. blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hey, nobody! Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Foul tip into oh, the catcher's boy. glove at strike one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone on, as a unit. Go, they haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Aye. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. 0-2 is the count. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. At third break now, DJ LeMahieu. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And that's over 2 and 1. That's Shin high three. fastball that time, ball three. Ball, Team's three. been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three ball. Swing, two strike. strike two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. Hey, he was well, trying wait. to put him on the board with a swing like that one. 
got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat unhittable. Pretty impressive back to back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Now batting, center so field. now to the plate Adam, Adam Hazley as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh for two for him to this point. And we got two two down. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball that's it. No hey, runs no go. hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this one runs a little too far in ball two. Fouled off. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping in once again is Ryan O'Hearn. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matt, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Strike one to start the at bat. Now here it comes. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And there's another one, strike three, as he just continues to mow guys down. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Now back, left field. Standing in now, Miguel, Miguel Andujar. Andujar. Oh. Unable to find the zone with the slider. One He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here we go now. Let's go. Looked like he wanted to clobber one that one. one, but it's one and one. One and two one now. Two I'm pretty yeah. surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. The next one, two pitch. And another strikeout as nobody can touch him in this one. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. So stepping in is Giancarlo Stanton. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, that's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Owen won the count. Pitch on the way. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed hey, fastball down, down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. Ready now is Jordan Luplo. He, he went go. down looking in his last team. trip to the plate. Yeah, yeah. always frustrating to Jordan. go down looking. Everybody does it though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. The 0-1. Outside Whoa, for a ball, one out. and one. Hey, come on now, guys. Oh, 
Nope. Lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Andrew Probably Velasquez. Ball. No balls in one strike. No hits to this point. The 0-1. Oh, and he's really no getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, oh, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Now the one and two pitch. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Striding in is Anthony Siegler. Oh, he represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. First offering on its way. The 0 1. That's a ball. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. So and with two. that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Last chance for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up. 27 down and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports and I'm just excited. I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Three runs on 10 hits. No errors.